left. <laughs> the wrong one. Yeah, we'll do that again. I was starting to do the Halo song. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> hey, that's. <laughs> Are you looking up phonetic pronunciations? I'm trying. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Shoot, I hit the wrong button. Welcome. <laughs> Technical difficulties all abound. I I was supposed to hit the uh, the trailer. I'm sorry. Here we go. Philippines에서 검거된 한국인 범죄자들이 Manila container terminal에서 출발하는 국제 화물선을 통해 부산항으로 호송될 예정입니다. I can't play this whole thing. It's it's a minute and forty-nine I mean, is it going to cut to like the gunshot sounds? And... 범죄자들과 함께 탑승할 예정입니다. I don't know. 여기 CCTV도 없다. Here we go. Maybe. Limitation of the medium. <laughs> I really wanted a dub. Like an English yeah, dub that, that been sounded good. hilarious. They don't, yeah, it seems like they just don't do bother with that anymore for most things. They had a Hindu dubbed one. I almost put that one on. Here. <laughs> That would have been really misleading. <laughs> it would have been very misleading. An Irish dub. Mm. Oh man, this movie didn't have music like that. Now you get you. You hear the squirts? Yeah. You hear bones break. You hear guns cocking. Here we go. Now you got it. All right, that's enough. Yep, I think people know. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough to know. <laughs> There's some more stabs and some wet noises. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody stepped on a sponge. Well, welcome back. Take me away, tribe, and up in the air, Cole, for our conclusion of Project Wolf Hunter from 2022. This is uh, your pick, Taylor. Yeah, I guess. I would love to know why we are why we were subjected to this. Film. I mean, I think it was like one of the, as I was telling Cole, one of those Twitter accounts like Daily Squibs or <laughs> One Headshot a Day, where it's a movie scene of. Some, do you of, subscribe to those? I do follow those. Yes. All right, all he right. uses X. The and I'm pretty platform. sure one of these scenes was on there. I couldn't tell you quite which one it was. And but, you were like, "Oh, I got to see that." Well, I was like, I'm like, "Yeah, I'll write this down. I mean, gotta, gotta." Got to make it make it set set a date aside. So it truly wasn't to torment me. I didn't know it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I thought it. I didn't. I didn't know. I mean, you kind of would know a little. I didn't bit. know. You know how to torment me. I didn't know, and I, I also didn't know that your tolerance <laughs> was as low as that. At the same time, you survived Train to Busan, which didn't seem yeah. much different. Well, what's different what we than yeah? Watch. I mean, we or the we said it. We said it last week review. that a zombie genre is different than this it does yeah i mean there's violence but this is a different kind yeah like you get used to I'm, I, again we talk about desensitizing violence That's right the week. desensitization project but <laughs> you know zombie kills are just like you know eating your throat a yeah usually or, or ripping you apart yeah yeah just eating your gut area this is more like there's a lot of creative killing in this, this yeah is more like jason yeah this is more like yeah this is like knife fights and getting gunshots Mostly well, knives, though, I would say. And throat rips. It's actually surprising that there's not as much gun violence as you would expect. I think that there... So that there's they're, more they're, throat rips than yeah. Rambo 4. Yeah, I think oh, so, yeah. Half of them die from getting their windpipe gouged out. As, as McGruber says, the, the turkey. <laughs> there's multiple turkeys in this movie. Does he call it that? He calls it that, yeah. Three three throat rips is a turkey. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> which, he, it was like, which I like to apply to throat rips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you uh, we should have added that to reasons to watch if you like throat rips throat rips yeah they're it's abundant true. oh there's like roadhouse has throat I mean, rips this movie has all manner this has many killer. throat rips actually like multiple, yeah. a lot of face and throat rips yep like a lot of rips well shoot, skin rips yeah, it's the one guy skull got, crushing yeah um, one we're in spoiler zone by, by the way yeah squished by a door a lot of head squishes yep a lot of head popping um 
a lot of like chest uh, caving in. Yeah, pu- through, chest through <laughs> punches. Yeah, limbs being ripped off. A lot of that. A lot of dismemberment. Um, there's a there's basically a zombie Terminator in this, and he does a lot of d- damage. Yep. He Once skins. he shows up. Yep. Yeah, he's called the Alpha. That's right. All right. Let, you know what? Let's do the uh, amalgam of the popcorn trivia beefs puzzles all together. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Because I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, and we'll leave redemption out of it because we'll do redemption at the end. Where's the beef? Let me tell hey, you something, Bandeo. What? A sphincter says what? This one's a little longer, so it gets to breathe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so we've got no trivia. Yeah. I, I burned but, that bridge last week, so if you so, want the only trivia. See, not only did this movie not do well. It's a foreign film that didn't do well. So, I mean, what are we going to do here? Yeah. It's not <laughs> but let's talk about beefs and puzzles. All right. All right. My beef, I have some beefs. And these are off the cuff because I didn't have preparation. You just, yeah, just, just getting right? pissed while you're watching it. Just letting <laughs> grievance. I, I definitely wasn't as pissed watching this as I was with The Endless. What a terrible, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible movie. I'm so happy I picked that shit um, up. It's but this happy. one, I felt like if I was being, you know, if I'm looking at it objectively as a person who, I, I don't I don't mind violence, but it's a lot of violence. It sure. I mean, that's all there is to it. And really. I feel like <laughs> from the opening scene, there's violence galore. Maybe it's, I don't know. I, can can it be too much? I, I can't. I think you kind of just get used to oh, it. Oh, yeah, I can. Because but, it's, it's just the same people. Slowly but it's dying. interesting, though, because like for me, it's like it's it's too much. And I just I don't feel it anymore. It's like the the heroin's <laughs> gone. And, you know, I'm just I'm too like I'm too amused. You're to numb. It. But whereas I mean, you know, this was too much to where you thought it was unpleasant. I cr- I closed my eyes quite a few times <laughs> and I covered portions yeah, of like the screen. You were getting like squeamish like at parts of it. Yeah, it's intense. And my voice just cracked like a small that- child. <laughs> Um, just, just seeing mutilations is too much. But yeah. I also, it, you know, apart from that, like, I just felt like it was a, a little too long. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I felt like the yep. exposition was like, they were trying really hard to set up some kind yep. of like lore and, and well, at the end, it's a universe. It ends with a sequel setup that it will not get, it sounds like, which yeah. I think that's a beef to have. Yeah. Because that- it's like, I mean, again, I feel like they're like maybe copying Hollywood here, like where all these like other movies have like, they're like, well, it's going to be a, t- a franchise. And people are like, no, no, it's not. Yeah, that is a really big beef where where filmmakers are like, hey, we're going to leave yeah, this big now, matzo yeah. ball hanging out here. Yeah. And then you don't get it because the, the movie no doesn't do well. <laughs> so that I, I feel like it's almost like what's the movie, you know, Iron Man really didn't. I know they were setting up the thing, but it was it's almost true. like an indie Iron film. Iron Man is one of the better ones at that because it doesn't set up the sequel till the very, very end with like the with the, the cameo. Yeah. yeah, or like it movies is, like. Is, but I mean, every almost every Marvel film after that really lost that. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. that's not a that's not a trait they still have. No, they. Don't. It's <laughs> gone. That's what makes that, it annoying now. Is yeah, that's why I don't I don't even but bother about, anymore. But I also liked um, Pirates of the Caribbean. It was like a well, yeah, standalone contained those. Film. Sequels weren't. <laughs> no, no. But you know, like Same I don't know that I don't know that they were setting up a franchise with Pirates of the Caribbean. They were. No. They were thought it was going to bomb. They were. Yeah, I think they were just thought it, it would be a fun bomb. movie or something. But yeah. Well, I I just yeah that's a that's a big beef. I I I don't like that. They should have ended it differently. Yeah. Uh, what are what else are your beefs? I mean, it is convoluted in the way its expedition's done. It's yeah. I kind of like what Cole said uh, last week about how the characters are so much, so many characters. There are many characters. Well, yes. that's the problem. So, like, they could have made it more, way more suspenseful. Like, there's a few. It people, could have been alien. There's like a few on, people on a, on, a, on a storage era. Exactly. Like, there's a few people on a boat. They're being hunted by something. But there's so many people involved. You've got cops and you've got, sh- you know, yeah, it's, the medical experimentation crew, then the ship crew. So then it's just wondering who's going to die next because they're always in big groups. And yeah. I say, the monster shows up and then it's just. <laughs> it's way too many next? genres at yeah. once. Well, yeah. And there's a lot of inmates and people are dying so a quickly. A lot of inmates, you, a lot of cops. There's like. and it's, that's I mean, it does do like the, the, like the tone shift halfway through where it stops being like this overviolent crime movie. Becomes this overviolent, like Friday. The Literally 13th. at the yeah, exact like half at that hour point. mark, becomes like a overviolent Friday yeah. the Thirteenth. 
uh, yeah, Halloween you, like slasher film. You for definitely sure. can tell where the acts were broken up in the script. So here's act two, here's yep. act three. <laughs> yeah. And they rip open his uniform and you find out the secret about one of the... Yep, there's act three. Yeah. <laughs> one of the inmates. Yeah. I think it's fun. I don't think it's like must watch. It really is if you're just kind of like, hey, let's want, if you want to see some inventive over the top violence. You know what I would say? And I say this, I think I say this a lot with some, with movies that aren't picked by you. That aren't picked by me. <laughs> yeah. I would say this was fun watching it with you. I think there's a lot of movies where I'm like, I could watch this by myself or with family or with whatever. I mean, just speaking to my like attention span, I feel like I wouldn't have even gotten to this ship if I had been watching this alone. I wouldn't have been able to. <laughs> it's like, there's, like, there's a lot of time. Well, you guys have severe ADD, <laughs> but. Yeah, we're too ad- internet addicted, like. Yeah. Anxious, <laughs> anxious millennials. Yeah. But right. I think like. Reddit focus. If you watch this <laughs> in October with a bunch of friends and you got it's like a how i mean i think that i mean as i was saying like i've watched those friday the 13th movies recently it's better than those okay i think i think like the stuff that around it's less annoying than like the horny teens <laughs> in those movies Jason oh i know i have another beef <laughs> Jason talking goes about to new york but, is a classic that lady the main boss inmate boss's lady is super annoying yeah big beef for me i I feel like they don't really kill her like effectively enough to just let's justify how annoying she was i feel like 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 they were leading her up to be that the lady that got killed through the window pre no the one that got stabbed in the neck well one of the many that got stabbed in the neck and like pinned to the wall I thought that was her. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's kind of a... And that's what I mean. It's hard to keep people straight as to who's who or who's... And it's not because... I I know what you're no, saying. No, no, no. There's no backstory. Like, yeah, it's really true. I mean, who's yeah, who. th- there's a lot of story, but no real characterization. Exactly. Um, everyone's disposable as soon as they're on. It's a well, lot of, like it's hard like, too because they have they're all dressed the same. I feel like they explain too much. Like yes. that whole scene that goes back to 1943. They why could, is that in there? They could have cut that because it sure, doesn't even dude. explain how he gets like he. I mean, like, it doesn't even His explain predator how predator powers or how they contain him after that. Yeah, I don't. So like that whole It doesn't help. Needless. Cuz you already know what he is. They read the file. <laughs> it's like a Frankenstein scene. Yeah, and it's not needed at yeah. all. But that's what I mean. That's it's 2 hours and 2 minutes, but it could have been a nice hour and 40. I mean, it could have like, been like Friday the 13th if which they were a nice breezy 90 minutes. Well, if they'd cut yeah. out as long as you need half of the people <laughs> and just like shorten the group so there was, you know, less people to mangle and kill yeah. would have been a lot more efficient I mean, okay yeah the, the raid's a better action movie than this uh, that, <laughs> yeah it, the, the raid is pretty the much the raid is dope it's very similar to this in terms of like a, it's a confined space cops versus criminals i love the raid better than this um oh, and it's probably as violent in, we should have a category yeah. of what's better than this yeah <laughs> And movies that are better than this. The, 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 I, I'm a, I don't actually remember how much blood is in that. I mean, there's got to be some. It's, it's, it's not as it's egregious not, as this. It's not as bloody. It feels it's more, more like realistic and less over the top. Fights. It's like that guy getting stabbed in the back where it's just like a gusher of blood. It's like, come on. There's, yeah. not, there's not that much blood in there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm kind of agreeing with Rotten Tomatoes 66 from audience. 66%. It was like 6.5 from IMDb. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, it's like it's six point one. It's like a fun again, like six point one. It's like a right. fun party type movie. If you just wanted to have something hilariously violent on, yeah, it's, like it works. For w- that. What about if you're having a Halloween party and you want to take a shot every time? Yes, yeah, so I was going to say a, drink, out, a drinking game. You would be passed out after about yeah. twenty minutes. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe you could figure out some other way to make that funny every time someone gets a throat rip. Maybe there's less yeah. of those <laughs> every time still he a lot. gets shot, but keeps coming after him. Mm, yeah. That's a, that's an interesting uh, idea. All right, any other beefs before we get into puzzles? I think we're kind of mixing them all together because you yeah, said a couple puzzles. There already. wasn't that much to this movie though. To like, that's the thing though. It's like while watching, I felt like there was a lot of story, but in retrospect, it's like, yeah, not really. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's a lot, but not a lot at the same. It's time. It's very strange. I don't know how they did it. It's like a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> it is a magic trick. Wow. Um. Yeah, I felt like they could have cut out all the stuff with the, the like, what's it called? I mean, the biggest beef would be, like, it doesn't make any sense that they would have, like, their reaction to that airport snafu would be 
Let's put them on a put them on a cargo. Tr- uh, why? Yeah, why, that's weird. Why not just secure the airport? <laughs> yeah, that's a good puzzle. It's like, yeah, come on now. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. But, but I think at the same time, there was something more to do. They didn't really explain why, because they keep saying how they need the boat to get to Korea. But I think the prisoners that were on board were just more test subjects that they were going to use to like with no, that guy's original blood. That's a good puzzle. Because I don't think so, because that one guy said he didn't want all the other criminals on there. It he, was just supposed to transport this science project. He and didn't, he, but at the same time, they... Or they used it as cover. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what true. he said. Like, he was talking to that young guy, well, seemingly young, because he oh, has yeah. the serum, and, he, and it was like almost like a throwaway line where he's like, oh, I, I didn't know that, you know, you had them sent here or some, like... It was weird. There yeah. was a lot of exposition. And there's that thing where he like kills a guy and then like changed like the boat. Very weird. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not great at that. It really yeah. is just kind of a, I hate to say it's one note, but it kind of is. It's no, like, do, it do is. Do you like the over the top violence and like the kind of thin, thinly. Thinly layered I, I, explanation. I thought it was better than violence. Sizu though. I mean, I thought, I thought Sizu was going to no. be this. Sizu. 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 Okay. Sisu. <laughs> Sisu. 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 It, it's I say it right when I say it quickly, like the trailer. Zizu. It's better than this for sure, in my opinion. Way better. I no, not in mine. Well, that's fine. Mostly because I I, well, I thought Sizu was going to be this, and this dude Sizu it, was it, like a, it, a it was Norwegian. Much, yeah, it was pretty Rambo. much a, it was a German Finnish, version of this. Finnish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I, I know, but it wasn't good enough. It wasn't. Mm. It wasn't people getting like just completely Rambo. <sighs> It was. I disagree. It was in a way. I mean, yeah, it was for sure. Crashing a plane into the ground. (laughs) Any other puzzles or beefs? I mean, yeah, yeah, the the guy was with the prostitute in the in the. I'm assuming that's what that scene was. Where he? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's actually like. Why did you bring that up? Because you were just talking about. I'm like, oh yeah, they they didn't explain that at all. What? (laughs) I don't like. I don't like that at all. I don't like. Yeah, no, that was that was yeah, that was gross. I don't like it. But anyway, and I it don't, only lasts. But they never months. explained like so like there's a greater conspiracy going on that they will not address unless this guy can get it as like a passion project after. Yeah, and there's there's all kinds of well, or the they sequel. explain a ton, sequel, but don't man. like we keep saying this this organization. They have all these other dudes yeah. who got the chest cut scar yeah, and, say, the, like, and the brand or whatever. That I was gonna they say that give like them. they're taking the right lessons and that CG blood is bad, but they're also taking the bad lessons and that you should just try and make everything an ultra franchise. And I I don't think that's the right that's the right yeah, way to just go. make just trim it down like, again. This could have been like ninety minutes and it would have been better. Yeah, trim it down. Trim some of that the fat yep. off and leave some of that world building out and i think you have a better fun yeah i I feel like it's not that hard to just leave things like unanswered like i mean like them saying like yeah world war ii crazy evil japanese scientists that's it yeah we're easy yeah done yeah (laughs) Yeah, we already get enough kills on the boat we don't need any more yeah especially characters that aren't even introduced as like depraved criminals or even the last like what four or five seven minutes of them going to that weird like base at the end yeah and there's sounds of animals and yeah that was that was pretty cool i mean that's like an end credit scene what are they doing yeah don't <laughs> like yeah what it yeah what that's it like something that it would be that's, at the very end of a marvel because movie. that's setting up the prequel because the, his son's alive yeah and basically showing that it's, i think it's setting up a sequel it was more basically a showing that instead of being mutated and giving like the serum like everyone else was his son was actually born he was like born that. with the mutation so his son's got even like more powers and so but well, it, they're never going to address yeah. any of that because so they're never going to be a sequel sucks. which makes it so bad you're, you're bad pre- your prequel would be them setting up who the organization is but you know what they could do they could the do what their friday the 13th movies do oh, okay whatever. just cut the scene from the previous movie and have it be like the opening <laughs> scene of the next movie. Just lazy, efficient, That's, beautiful. I like that. They could have just done that. Yeah. Like anything that they needed to like show that like, it's like, hey, remember when you thought his son was dead? Well, what if we just... They, they did that in... I went and saw Equalizer 3 and they did that. They showed the scenes yeah, from right. the other it's film. It's beautiful. It's great. Yeah, why? But yeah, don't, don't waste my time. They yeah. did. I don't remember that. Did you go see Equalizer 3? My dad loves that stuff. It's sick. Those movies are sick. Yeah, I should have picked that. I'm sorry. I'll try again next time. Just let Denzel cook. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> next time. Oh, we'll, all right. we'll do let, better next time. I feel like you, the listeners can gather what our redemptions are, but I would like 
one, at least one or two from from you guys. A redemption for this movie? So uh, yeah, oh, let, it's, let, let it's me, dumb fun. Wait, it wait, made wait, me laugh. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I have there we go. Now we we're able to. The demon. I can do it now. Okay. Go ahead. Cool. I I found it humorous. It's over the top. It's basically Jason Voorhees on a boat just going after everybody like bad and good. I didn't think it was and funny, it, but I'm well, sorry. No, it's just in terms of it's so over the top, like jumping down on the elevator and crawling a hole through it and coming after. He punched. A, he kicked a hole in that guy's chest. He punched a hole through. He ripped out he, that man's he out heart. heart. He rips. Out, <laughs> he rips off the main bad guy's arm and pretty much beats him to death with it. He, he does beat him with his own arm. Yeah, he does, and then he crushes his skull with a sledgehammer. It's you know. Wow. The only way to avoid his killer wrath is to hide in the freezer underneath a pile of. And there bodies. you were thinking that that main guy was going to be like a really bad dude, and he's out halfway through the movie. That's right. I feel like we they set they him was, up. They were like, setting him up. They set him up in a crazy way, and, and he's de- deed. As the, again, at the hour mark when that movie becomes a, sla- a horror slasher film. What's the craziest best kill? Uh, uh, the door <laughs> the guy getting squished and the blood I, I don't know if I think it's the one. guy we just talked about his the tat neck tat guy he, yeah probably him getting his head beat in yeah it's hard to off. say I just said he got his head beat off he did <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I, that's what other what other crazy I mean that's kind of the problem with this movie is that they're all the same there's too much of them so mm-hmm. that none of them really have much time to breathe that's what I mean. There's big groups that just get annihilated yeah. and then they run off. And, and they're all getting killed group. in the same way. It's like knife fights and arterial spray. Instead and of five camp counselors, it's five groups of like people like trying to. So maybe that's a beef, actually. There's too much of it. <laughs> mm. I don't know. There's a lot. I have of, no answers. <laughs> I admire. I admire their spirit. Yeah, I like. I like <laughs> the fact that their spirit. It, it it is two movies in the vein of. Yeah, uh, we we brought up we, um, uh, from uh, dusk till dawn. Sunlight or it's not sunlight, is it? Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine. Sunshine does the same thing. Uh, where it becomes it's a, it's a science fiction movie halfway, and they then, travel to the sun with a big bomb. Then they stop right? it like a, like an abandoned ship, and it becomes a horror movie for the second half. Should I not watch that? You no, should. It, it's, it's great. Really good. It's but that, that, is it better than this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's the same then, guy. But, this, but that shift bothers people, and that's what's notable about it. I kind of like it. I really enjoyed From Dust Till Dawn. I'd never seen that in my whole life yeah that one liked it a lot <laughs> that one's that, like, the, once the you whole, find out what's going on the like whole once style changes when that yes, genre yeah. shifts it's bizarre but see i like it's those great, kills though. way better because there's there's like it's yeah punctuated that, with that, funny yeah insane kills and they don't repeat them quentin Tarantino's better at it well yeah. that's the thing <laughs> you actually have like clooney that's a likable character that you want to see yeah i mean that's the thing though is like quentin Tarantino's better at dialogue too like he has he's, more characterization he's the best so more feet. All right. I mean, if we're just going to say, like, this isn't a Tarantino movie, thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a violent movie, those are, those are, yeah, those are better ones. That's fair. All right. <laughs> Any other redemptions before we give our final rating of Project Wolf Hunter? I thought it was fine. It's fun. <laughs> Actually, I should say. Oh, it's actual, it's phonetic Korean name. Yeah. Nung, Nung, Dying, Sang, Yung. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, what? Any anything we missed before we get into our final rating? Nah, of there, Nit, there, it's not that deep of a film. That's kind of. I mean, again, other than I think that's kind of cool that it, you think it's complicated, and then really is, there's barely anything there. It's <laughs> just a freak <laughs> of nature. It's like if, if this were on a streaming platform, put it on, see if you like it. I don't uh, know. I'm going to give my rating first, and I th- this might be the first time I've ever done this. I'm going to give two ratings. Whoa! Wait, what? Yeah, just hear me out, okay? Okay. If you're hearkening back to our previous episode of talking about why you should watch this, if all those things are like super dope for you, then this is going to be like a large bucket, medi- yeah. medium to large bucket. That's true. But for me, for the popcorn priest, I give it a small bucket of popcorn. Oh, I thought you were going to give it a spilled bag. Almost. It, <laughs> almost. I did I did have a I don't I didn't have a fun time. I just I had a time. 
<laughs> I, I, it wasn't like you I was. The time. You would not have watched the whole thing if you yeah, were like, not under the, it's, the constraints. If of, I'm looking at here. the endless and I'm looking at this film, <laughs> it's got to be a small bucket. He's never. Uh, he's never me. Did you give that as build bag? The yeah, I tried to give it lower, but I, I didn't have anything that's lower. I <laughs> so might have invented just, just something. Rotten popcorn, just it's the, decomposing popcorn. Maybe he's it's never, a zombie bucket of popcorn. He's never gonna let it go. It's, yeah. I love it. Well, that's the new Macbeth. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's the new Macbeth. Hey, Macbeth, people, you, you would have enjoyed it if you could understand the dialogue. Yeah, if we'd had subtitles on, I think part. we would have been uh, fine. The it, subtitles don't help because I don't know. I don't understand that's, that. That's what I mean. The old English. That's what I mean. Yeah, if I the mean, dialogue yeah. had been understandable, it would have been a great movie. It was hard to understand what they were saying. Yeah, I just, wrote, have you seen the Japanese uh, one that's inspired by Macbeth? Uh, what is it, Throne of Blood? No, it's a Kurosawa movie. Great. Hmm. Recommend it. All right. See, <laughs> there. The, I just need adaptation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like so. He. Yeah. It, All right. I gave my double. Uh, my two pronged review. What are your guys's review? And then we'll. Wrap uh, I'd say three stars. It's a genre film. Three stars of what? You have. So some stars. Yeah, I would give it some stars. It's a genre <laughs> film. It's it's kind of it's it's fun for that. You don't have to watch this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's really the takeaway. <laughs> This is not a must see. This is like, eh, you know, we we told you why. Yeah, we told you yeah. the scenario. It's, it's barely a movie in a way. A Halloween <laughs> slasher getting some yeah, it's people like together. Thirteenth movies. Those you are could, barely movies. You can go <laughs> grab a drink or go grab a, some some snacks, a, a, a charcuterie yeah. board while while it's going on, and you're not. It's yeah, fine. It's, it's just it's, it's garbage. Some, it's it's something you put on while you're doing laundry. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cole, you're the last. To give our review, two, we got two out of four. It's I wouldn't have been able to finish this if I was by myself. I totally would have yeah. stopped and cleaned. It's and not gripping, really. Parts. Yeah. Do you think it's harder because you got to read? No, you it's, don't. That doesn't bother you. It's guys. not that. No. It, it's just kind of the same repetitive, just killing scenes over and over again. Okay. Just wondering who's it doesn't die. pace itself well. Yeah. I did have to pause it like three, four times. Cause yeah, because they're going like, super fast at the beginning. What the heck yeah. is they yeah. say? Well, that's they throw a lot at you at the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Again, it drive, feels like right. there's a lot, and then in the end, you're like, it's well, not, not really. not a lot. <laughs> like, I whatever. like that. Yeah, I don't know. Project Wolf Hunting. Seems like a lot, but it's not a lot. <laughs> it's a magic trick. Sometimes it's smaller it on the like inside. Sometimes it don't. It appears much bigger on the outside and is very small on the inside. Like Wonka's factory. Yeah, correct. All right. I love that. That's a great way to go out. Thanks for joining us. And that's it for this week. But I am with you always. Look for me in the cloud at Popcorn Priest. I love movies and would love it if you'd share the love. Share this with the movie lover in your life. You didn't love this movie. I didn't love. Don't share. Don't share this movie. Share this podcast. Share the endless with everyone in your life. Oh, you didn't love gosh. the endless either. No, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. It's so become like much. this weird. It's there's, not good. There's become this weird theme of us accidentally just picking things he hates. You guys, <laughs> it's I, not. Well, good. I don't. I yeah. honestly thought it looked good. Like I wanted to see that for a while. Yeah, I know. And here we. Yeah, are. the trailer was dope. I, I thought know, the trailer right? to this. You was, guys remember? I listen. thought the trailer to this was dope and was like, this is a fun movie to watch with the fellas. Yeah, I and mean, here we are. It is better. It is better than that. Gripe and like old man. Another way to support the show is by throwing a few shekels at the priest. Just a reminder, shekels mean money. Send me money. <laughs> by visiting patreon.com forward slash popcorn priest and see what extra perks you can enjoy. If you made it this far, please go. Give us a five-star review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It's really easy. It's like one button. Please just do it. As always, thanks for listening. And thanks to my special guests, reoccurring guests, I traveled to the moon and back four times this year, Cole. <laughs> Probably. Isn't that true? No. But, Two uh, times? Uh, it's at least one and a half times one, around the world. Okay. All right. One and a half times around the world, Cole. And picking obscure movies since 2009, Taylor. That's right. <laughs> Remember, when you watch movies, you can pop off, pop in, or pop out. But always bring the popcorn. Popcorn.